Shmushti Voodoo um, Dino. Yeah. The OG Voodoo Dog Dexy. I think I've got a Memphis Mafia, which is like a fritter, which I'm thinking is kind of yum yummy. I said chocolate on it. Yeah. Chocolate, banana chips, peanut butter. What more could you ask for? Right, who's got the Voodoo Man? Me. Thanks. Oh, birds. Is that nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not your typical breakfast, people. Dex? Ten out of ten. <laughs> oh, that blends into the blanket, Lila. Like, like, we've got. Powdered sugar. Boom. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Powdered sugar. Mm. Sorry, excuse the mess of the room. Right, and then, where's yours, Mum? <laughs> oh, hang on. Eight mile. Because of the M&M's. You know it. Right, let's type this is mammoth. Look at the size of the box and look at the size of this donut. Well, oh, I'll give it a go. Morning people, day three. We are second day of our express passes today. Um, Islands of Adventure is still the early park access from eight o'clock. It is 20 past seven. As I said yesterday, Hagrid's and Velocicoaster are not part of the express passes. So the mission today is to bomb it straight to Harry Potter World, get on Hagrid's or at least in the queue. It got up to like four hours yesterday at some point. So that is, that, that's mental. Um, so we're gonna go there first thing, probably like everybody else, try and get on that, head over to Blossom Coaster. Then we're gonna swap parks, maybe get the Hogwarts Express um, over to Universal Studios. And it's a lot more chilled, I think, over there. A lot more shows and rides for the kids and stuff like that um, to do. So looking forward to it. Bose's dress is a minion. I've got my Moe's Tavern T-shirt from Asda. Dexy's a minion, Mummy's got her Simpsons t-shirt on, Lila is just wearing some H&M clothes I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, let's see how we get on day two of Express. We'll never get bored of walking out. We're still on the pathway from there. Ooh. Monkeys are bored. Um, on the pathway from Rob Stiffick to City Walk. And it's just such a nice chilled walk. And then when you come out under the little tunnel back there, and you've got Hard Rock, you've got the Island of Adventure Lighthouse, Margaritaville is just up there. Just sets the tone for the day off right. Wonder where everyone else is going. Monsieur Hagrid. This is what rope drop in Hagrid's looks like at eight, it's quarter to eight in the morning. During August, in the sweltering heat, there are people jogging, I ain't jogging for nothing. It's, uh, it's mental. Let's see how we get on. We'll let you know what the queue is. So we were very, very close to the front of rope drop queue. There was probably 20 people in front of us um, in our queue. Um, so we'll let you know what that kind of equates to with arrive time when we get to Hagrid's. Slight change of plan, Hagrid's is closed, so we have a lot of coaster in the app. Um, Dexy and Bose aren't going to go on it, we're going to swap with Lila, so we'll let you know what parents want to find. But it said when we walked up 15 minutes, they just changed it to 25, 
the lowest we've seen it all week so far has been 50. So this is um, still worth it, but they said Hagrid's isn't open until nine o'clock. So I think this is the only ride that's open. So they're literally putting like thousands of people that early park into one ride. So we got there pretty sharp. This is great. Let's see what this queue's like. I'm excited. I think the boys are excited about seeing some rats in. Lila, how did you find Velocity Coaster, mate? Scary. I mean, even my voice is going. Amazing. Was it good? And the bit where you stop at the top of the drop and then you go straight down no to spoilers, a really fast no tunnel. No spoilers. Okay. No spoilers. No spoilers. It was so good. It was good. Like, really fast, really like, I feel like you're coming out your feet a lot. Yeah. Which is quite good, because obviously you'll be very, you feel secure, but you're coming out your feet. Probably the quietest we're going to see Hogmeade today. 8.25. Right, so Bodie Boy and I are going to go on um, Fat the Hippogriff. Have you been up before, Bodie? What was it like? Yeah, it was just so wild that Lila's hat fell off. I like, <laughs> don't know what was going on. Is there anything I need to be worried about? Yep. Like what? Falling out. Falling out? Oh, yeah. On the air. Is it really fast? Yeah. And you go upside down how many times? Oh, zero touch. Oh, that's good. It that's only good. goes, it's a, it's a bit of go, a sideways. Yeah, okay. Um, is, it, what's the, is this the wildest ride in the park? Yeah. What, what more than One, Velocicoaster? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So are we riding the real buffy or do we meet the real buffy? We need that buffy. Because it goes faster, right. and then the ride will end faster. Because it's making itself faster, I can't believe it, but I'm going on it again. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? I'm buzzing, mate. <laughs> That's a rascal. Yeah, I'm excited to do it with you. Is this your favourite ride? Yep, yeah, my favourite ride in Harry Potter World. Oh. What about your favourite ride altogether so far? Is it this one? Yeah. I did the hippogriff, but just so wild. I was, I, I was just so scared if I was just gonna fall off. But, but, but Beak just saved my life. But when I, but when I was doing the massive drop, I feel my like car's actually flying. You thought you were on actual button? Yeah. Is that your favourite ride ever? Yeah. It's epic. Isn't and it? it's the fastest. It's the far. It definitely is faster than all. Let's of go. <laughs> right. Just giving a touch and base, getting a little update. So. A little bit disappointing with the early access and things like that. So normally they open up Hagrid's really early, Velocicoaster's open early. Um, Hagrid's was down. We were so super lucky because Velocicoaster, we both got on. We did Child Swap, which I'll talk to you about in a second. Um, Ali and Lila just got back off um, riding Velocicoaster and the ride went down. So that was shut. So you've got early access with Hagrid's shut, Velocicoaster's shut. It seems pretty pointless. There's not much to go on. Um, Rider swap. So obviously there's five of us. Bodie won't fit on. Dexter didn't want to go on Velocity Coaster. So there's like a little waiting room that you do, which is like most rides. So Forbidden Journey has one as well, where you literally do the main queue um, or the express line if you've got express tickets. And then you literally, they go to a family room, waiting room. There's a TV in there showing films and stuff like that, which is really, really great. Um, it's actually like one of the happiest places. The Velocity Coaster waiting room was amazing. All the kids were coming back in. Um, and just like saying to like, oh, mum, dad, that was amazing. And they were buzzing, telling them all their like, um, all their family about the ride and stuff like that. And it was just, um, yeah, like absolutely amazing. Like lovely faces and it's just really a happy place. And um, so if you want to feel good about yourself, just be happy about life, go to the family waiting room at Universal Studios. Um, so yeah, it's just coming up to nine o'clock now. Don't know whether Hagrid's is open yet. They said it was opening at nine. So we'll see about that. I'm not sh entirely sure that we're going to get on that today, if I'm honest, which is, really disappointing because we really want to get involved it was like i said it was a four hour wait um yesterday so we'll see how it goes we'll play it by ear we might hop across the other park and just get all of that done today so yeah we'll touch space later and we'll see how we get on right so update we've headed out of 
Islington Adventure because the queue for Hagrid's, well there wasn't one, although they were letting people on and we asked how long is it, they said it's delayed, we're not even open up the ride yet, no one's riding, no one's on it, so it could have been hours. Yesterday morning it was 240 minutes the queue, I think just as the park had opened and then it died yeah. down to about 120 like a bit later so I just thought we can't get in the queue and it possibly be four hours with the boys who are riding right. so we'll True. try again we'll give it a go so we're heading over to universal studios we're going to get all of those rides done and things like that we're going to try and just do the ride rides that we're going to need our express passes for because there's shows and things like that that probably aren't necessarily needed for the um, express passes so yeah let's go hear some rides over at um, universal studios Next family, come on in, all in. <laughs> Context. <laughs> he wants a kiss, Bates. Yes, Thank you. Mose have a flaming mo. Do you know what flavour this is? I've just tried it. Oh, careful. Crazy. I had some cup. you keep the cup winning. I had some curly fries which were like five pounds, five dollars something. Pizzas were about I think it's like twelve dollars seventy six or something for the cheese feast and like thirteen dollars something for the meat feast. So Take it out. Look about at twenty I think it was like thirty four dollars or something in total for the donut and two pizzas. Cool. Kids are goggling over this. Lard lad donut. It is massive, absolutely massive. Obviously, we're a family of five. This is gonna go. This is gonna go round us all. Cheers. Nice, babes. <laughs> hey guys, right checking in after quite a few, um, quite a few rides. We've done Simpsons. We did Simpsons rides, didn't we? We did the alien kind of like like flying dumbos but with aliens on it. We did that, we just made our way through to Men in Black. Bodhi was very adamant he wasn't gonna go on it. He's been a little bit scared. So he's only four years old, he's been a little bit scared going on it. He doesn't like sort of like the dark ones or things that like flash and make noises. But he went on it, 
Um, I gave, we've done it before, so I gave the boys the warning about push the red button at this moment, and I was like, right, I'm not gonna press it, I'll let the kids press it. I saw Dexter was just about to press the red button, weren't you, Dexie? And then Mummy, who told me to warn them about the red button, pressed the blooming red button herself. So she won with the best score. I think it gives you an extra like, 100,000 points. But everyone really enjoyed themselves in their decks. What did you think? What's your little review of Men in Black? Um, um, what, was the, your, what was your score? Did you get a good score? Um, yeah, so I got 10,000. Um, 750. Epic, mate. Well done. You enjoyed, you enjoyed it, yeah? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Cool, right. I think now the plan is to... We are blasting through um, Universal Studios today, so I think the plan is to go do Rip by Rocket, um, do Jimmy Fallon's, do Transformers, and we're going to do Fast and Furious because you've got to do it. Apparently that's like Marmite, so we've got to get involved and do that. So still a fair bit to do. It's just coming up to two o'clock in the afternoon and we're rattling through, aren't we, mate? Yeah? yeah. Tony, you forgot we done Green Gots as well, didn't we, Lila? What, what were your thoughts? It was insane. I loved <laughs> it. It was so good. Bye. What was your favourite part? Um, I like... Um, I can't think of it. I like it. I was surprised to see Voldemort hanging about. Yeah, and Bellatrix. When we first we fell back and then we went down the ride. The best little thing gets in space. <laughs> when, well, when we first went on the first time, because we did Charles Swap again, because Bose didn't go on it, his, Dexter's leg was shaking, wasn't it, the whole time? Bless him, he was a bit scared. Um, but now we're going to go, we're in San Francisco land, and we're going to try and go on Fast and Furious. Transformers, give it your feedback. Um, 11 out of 10. <laughs> 11 out of 10. So you said it was better than Spider Man, you thought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, what was the best bit? Can you remember? Um, probably um, when um, when we had the all spark and then um, Megatron was trying to grab it. Yeah, that was pretty sweet, wasn't it? But who saved the day? Us. We saved the day, didn't we? Right, should we go find the other lot? Do you remember his name? No, I can't. Evac. Evac. We were in Evac and he saved the day with us. Yeah. Here goes Lila Vance. You right, Lila? You're a bit wet, mate. You're a bit wet. A bit wet. Yep. Only a tiny bit. You're having fun? Yeah. Where are the boys? That's a bit mad. I tried to shoot him with the ball gun. Nearly hit him in the head. <laughs> Bodie boy. Bodie! Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you alright? Can I go there? No, you're getting wet. Well, no, you are. I don't want to get you wet. Are. <laughs> you enjoy that, mate? Yeah. We're a little bit wet. <laughs> what did you think? I was going to die. Oh, you were going to die? On what? I really would peppers. But you're okay now, yeah? Yeah, I am. Do you remember what you went for, Bodes? What yeah. was it called? Ninja, Ninja, Ninja nuggets. nuggets. And carrots and fries. Lila went for... Mac and cheese, mac and oranges cheese, and fries. Mac and fries. Dexie was mac and cheese. Apples and fries. Ali went for... I believe the shroom, some kind of Swiss shroom burger and fries. And I, being the fuss pot that I am, ordered a PBJ sushi roll from the kids' menu. Um, yeah, living a dream. Enjoy. Cowfish. 
bills and the kids had drinks, juices, had three, four kids pay, uh, meals, because I had one. Um, I had a very expensive cocktail, which I wasn't overly, <laughs> that was a very bad choice. PBJ old fashioned, not good. Um, Ali had the normal, normal human meal and a glass of wine. So that's four adult, four children's meals, one adult meal, two adult drinks, and it came to 94. 67, the server was lovely. Um, Ali thought her food was a bit dry. To be fair, the kids didn't eat all of their kind of like boxes and things like that, their kind of kids' meals. Um, so it's quite a lot of food. Um, but yeah, not too shabby. Future me again. So this is probably going to be a bit of a habit for us because we have been looking back through like our footage and stuff like that since we've been editing the vlogs is what I'm doing right now and we're so bad at ending them like really bad I think because we've, like, we've got the kids and stuff and they just just get so tired we get back to the hotel we sort of have a little routine put them to bed and then Ali and I just absolutely zonk out so um a little review of kind of that one day in the hotel that we did at Royal Pacific I will still say even coming back and having time to think about it I think I would do that most trips, if not all trips, if I'm going to Universal. I think looking at the times that we saved going on, the rides and thing like, things like that. I mean, some rides, yeah, you can get on Spider-Man and it was half an hour, but you're saving yourself 25 minutes by doing the Express. Hulk, 40 minutes, you're saving yourself 35 minutes by going on. Little things like that. If you were doing just Universal, for example, or just Disney, sorry, doing just Disney, then you think, do you know what? I want to spend a couple of days in Universal just to get my little fix. I would hands down do that because you can nail both parks. And the great thing about Universal Studios is you can walk from park to park so easily. It's not like Disney where you've got to get, you know, a four day cab to go to another park or anything like that or wait two days for a monorail. It's so close to each other. You can walk through City Walk park to park. If you want to be really schmancy, get the Hogwarts Express over. That goes from park to park if you've got park to park tickets. So... I think I would hands down do that again. It saved us so much time. It allowed us to get lots of things done and then kind of think about what we wanted to do later on when we came back, like what everyone's favourite rides were. Um, you know, and also we didn't, um, in the videos, Dexy did not go on Kong, but it actually worked out to be one of his favourite rides when he was there because we managed to go back again. I think actually Ali convinced him that it was a good idea to go on. So little things like that. You know, if you've only got one shot at going on these rides and things like that, you miss out and then your kids get a bit more accustomed to it. Um, again, I think looking at it, we did Universal first as opposed to Disney. I think I'd probably do, looking back, we'd done Disney first to get them into the swing of things because um, we literally start them off with like full on Universal rides and Dexter was, and they had the fear, you know, everything's peril, peril, peril in Universal, isn't it? You want to ride, something goes wrong, you're going to die, but you're all okay on the end. Whereas in Disney, it's like, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. There's not much peril. So we got them onto the rides kind of like that Friday, Saturday and Sunday, um, which was lovely because they did actually really enjoy them in the end. So I do think really worth it. We had a little bit of time, which we didn't show you. We had a little bit of time at the pool, which was really nice. Um, we chilled down there. You can order food. You can order drinks to your um, little kind of even like your sun lounge. You can order food and drinks to it. So that was that was really lush. It was just nice and chilled. The kids, unfortunately, during lockdown and things like that, um, Dexter and Bailey, we haven't managed to get them to do swimming lessons and things because they were just closed. And then they were so booked up, we've not managed to do it. So we were really worried. You know, we had the villa later on. But as soon as they got in the pool, they were so confident. And Dexter was like, oh, I'm going to teach myself how to swim and just cracked out a front crawl, which was lush. So he did that. They were jumping in the pool. It was chilled. It was really, really nice. And then obviously in the evening, we just walked on over to sort of, you know, Margaritaville and things like that on the first night that we were there. Everything's within walking distance. It was was really nice. Um, and you didn't have to pay for parking for two days. So you're saving it. That saves $50 straight off the bat for 54 Yeah, because it's $27 at Universal. So yeah, literally $54. So if you think the room was £340, I think it was, take away your parking you're looking at a room for sort of 290 quid, you get your express passes included for two days, I would easily add that on as an add-on most time. So I'll stop waffling. I just realised that I'm editing the vlogs and it's just like, thanks, come, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, blah, blah, blah. So 
Thank you again for watching. Um, and tomorrow, I think we're heading to Volcano Bay on the vlogs, not in real life, unfortunately. So yeah, Volcano Bay uh, day tomorrow, which Volcano Bay is incredible. Absolutely loved it. So hopefully we shone it in a good light um, in the vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching and Volcano Bay coming up soon. Bye. Don't forget to smash that like button and please subscribe to our channel. See you soon.